to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. It's SummerSlam weekend. It's a bit of a chaotic weekend. I am joined. I am Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. I'm joined by Brian Bryman Peacock. And the coach, Coach Brooks. Yeah, we got a new member this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's finally back, guys. I apologize for that. So, did you guys watch NXT last night? I did. I saw bits and pieces of it, but I'm, I can't wait to watch it later on. Don't Actually, spoil it. I lied. I just watched it. So, I guess quickly, just to go over like the main championships. Uh, finally. The Ninja Turtles lost to Sanity. Yeah, they... That was weird. They looked even more <laughs> like the Ninja Turtles this time. That was so bizarre. I don't know they what came they out were like wearing, that. But it was weird. And it was weird looking, and then I was like, oh, New York, Ninja Turtles, but those are good guys, why are the bad guys wearing Ninja Turtles? Were they actually sense? like Ninja Turtles? Is that it? They wore all green, and they wore turtle head things. Well, that, those were turtles? Yeah, I think so. I don't so. know what the fuck they were. I thought, that's what I got that's, out that's of it. That's a new look turtle, I guess. I they, they, kind of look, I, they kind of look like snakes. I don't know. They did look like snakes. I don't know what the fuck they were doing, but they lost, finally. Yes. Sanity. Yeah. The rightful champions. I loved that uh, it was Killian Dane mm-hmm. and uh, Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. But then before uh, Wolf could tag Killian in, Eric Young stepped up to the to the side of the ring and got tagged in. Dane was never in. They switched him. Yeah, <laughs> I, saw, I saw that part right there. That, uh, so that match was great. Uh, Asuka's still champion. That's surprising. What That's the surprising. hell? That was that was. She's never going to lose. I thought for sure Ember Moon was winning. And she just broke another record uh, for uh, the Red Robin guy champion. Really? Like his record, he beat, she beat that. Oh, wow. Uh, longest. What are uh, they waiting on to bring her up? I don't know. I don't know who they're waiting on to beat her. Seriously, it's like. Yeah, who is going to beat her? I'll That's tell you who. Question. Candice LeRae. I don't think so. I hope so. I'm not saying. <laughs> I need to. I'm not arguing <laughs> against Candice, but I don't think it's going to be her. Tyree Hojo? I don't know. Are we gonna have a hard hitting match? That would be great, but I still I can see her beating her I as well. I would actually pay to watch that. To I don't know who else. I don't know either. But it's got to be somebody. The first one to come to mind are Kyrie Hojo, Candice LeRae, maybe Nikki Cross. I hope so. Or I'd she, like to. Or she take the belt to the main roster and kick everybody else. That's what I want. Belt. Yeah, we talked about, talk about that. that. Okay, we yeah. talked about that. That I want Oscar to go onto the main roster, forget about the NXT belt because it doesn't matter anymore. Right. That's what, incredible. Saying, that's what it's saying this morning, <laughs> with you. Yeah. You know, she's been there forever, man. It's like, good grief. And then we had Drew McIntyre defeating Bobby Roode. Drew, 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 my boy. Oh, my God. You must have been ecstatic. Hey, I punched somebody in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to, before we even get to that, that we have to, I have to say how amazing the uh, Aleister Black match was. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. That was a fantastic match. I'm going to go back and re Killed it early, Tommy, with that black mask. I think he did, too. What the hell? But that's because he had his nose busted, so I don't blame him. You know, Hideo must have come to him and be like, just kick me. Yeah, he's probably just like... <laughs> I was, he's probably like, look, man, we're going to beat the shit out of each other, so just go ahead. Yeah, he probably went, hey, Vince, Triple H, there, what? someone needs to talk to you over there. Hey, Aleister, kick me in the face. <laughs> just kill me. He did. And he did. God. And he came, the Alistair came out to live music. That was badass. I, I, I like that part right there. Yeah. That, that should... reminded me of the old school. Yeah. The DX used to come out yeah. with a live band. That was, yeah. that was Dude, freaking awesome. Black's going to be a world champion one day. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. It's going to happen. Excited. There's no doubt in my mind now. They've put too much into this guy. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to side my boy Drew McIntyre. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's champion. My boy, I'm proud of him. Conquer that shit, son. And make it way back up well, to the main roster. His entrance, his live music. Yeah, and that was cool. That was going back badass. to the heritage. I like also, that. Uh, did you notice in the uh, the montage beforehand, they used his old music. That they, was his oh, old yeah. music. Because you loved his old music. I so do. you would have noticed. Because, yeah. you know, that they ne- you never hear the shot that takes you down. That was in the music. I was like, nice. what? <laughs> nice little callback. Yeah. But Bobby Roode. Is he going to the main roster? Yeah, he's going to Probably. He going I hate up. Bobby Roode. So. I don't know. You're supposed to hate Bobby Roode. I know, and I think that's why, and he's, so it's great. He but yeah, and that's so why. He's going to have to do something. He's, he, he, he can no. Oh, ever, go ahead. 
I just like every time I see Bobby Roode, he just seems like the guy at the end of the bar at your local bar. He's just been there, and he goes to the bar every other day. And we have someone we can ask about that. Was Bobby Roode the guy? <laughs> I have not seen Bobby Roode. <laughs> like, he just seems like the guy who's just always at the bar, and he's got nothing else to do. There was, like, I don't know. Like, it's just. By the way, I've noticed recently that I use the word "fuck" too much, and I'm gonna refrain from it. There was a freaking Easter egg that I loved. Bobby Roode was wearing a red robe. Bobby Roode's gimmick is Ric Flair's gimmick. Yeah. When Ric Flair lost, he wore red. Really? Yes. Oh. <laughs> that I wanted to stand up and clap as soon as Bobby came out. Okay. That's cool. Very interesting. But then. He's like Ric Flair on a hoverboard. He, he is. Yeah, basically. Back <laughs> to the future kind of do right there. The thing that made me so happy that capped off the night. Well, first of all, and Kyle O'Reilly. We Hell have Red yeah. Dragon as a tag team now. Yeah. Going after the tag team belts. Thank Christ. God, I love those two guys. Yeah. Who do I love more? Adam Cole, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Showed up last night with Red Dragon. Yeah. What These the guys fuck? are teaming up now. We got an ROH faction. That's It was like ROH uh, invasion. What would have made that, that perfect is if Kevin Owens came out of the crowd. Yeah. Because they showed him in the crowd. Yeah. So that would be He tweeted nice. about uh, getting to witness Adam Cole's debut. He was happy about it. Nice. Very cool. I, I'm excited all this happened for NXT. I know. Yeah. But I'm not excited about I'm excited for up. WWE. What's to come? Bro, I, I, I don't think nothing's going to come to get moved up to the main roster. Well, let's talk about that. We just watched John Cena versus Baron Corbin, and Cena uh, just won clean. For no reason. Yeah, I don't get it. But, but what, he I don't like, like either one. I hate both of them, really. Cena, or Corbin ran in and Cena ate him, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> it, was, it was a quick match, probably. Corbin just lost just... the money in the bank. He just lost to Cena. And I not... think they're losing faith in Corbin. They are. And I don't I, I don't like that. You know, he's a good wrestler. He is. Maybe he's, he's fucked he's up backstage. Side. Maybe so. he did something backstage. He, he fucked up his promo. He messed up. He ain't got he no mic skills. Oh, he but you know what? Roman Reigns ain't got no mic skills. And look what they're doing with him. I don't know what they're doing with him. Who? The little idiot. Who? Roman Reigns. Oh, Ooh. yeah, but Roman. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Roman. <laughs> oh, fuck that match, too, by the way. Huh. The pre-show match with the Usos. Oh, I missed it, I guess. Yeah. They're still fighting each other? Yeah. Who won? The Usos beat the fucking New Day. They won the belts back? Yeah. Christ. Yeah. And then, so New Day probably uh, won back the Raw. Well, but, but, ne- but Neville won. Neville won yeah. his championship You did back. see that. I did see that. He I watched that. Back. Yeah. I watched that with my family of wrestling haters. That was fun. <laughs> and now we're dealing with this. With this. And we're going to go deal with that now so we can watch the next match and get back to you guys. All right, we'll be right back. All right, go. go ahead, Brooks. Go the ahead. Canadian Maple Leaf, baby. The sexy uh, bacon, baby. Natalia is the champion, woman champion on SmackDown. I told them. I told them before the match started. I said, look here. I got a feeling. Now I'm just going to lose. I got a feeling. Woo-hoo. <laughs> I'm not singing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not singing either. I won. Naomi was crying. She always going to cry. It, it was a good match. That that spot where Naomi uh, reversed the sharpshooter and slammed Natalia into the turnbuckle is pretty sick. That was nasty. I really like that. Like, let me clarify because I'm getting dirty looks. Y'all can't see the looks <laughs> that I'm getting. We right don't now. like Natalia. I don't like her. I respect her, but I don't yeah. like her. But. I just had a feel that she was going to win tonight, and she won. Hey, it is what it is. I, you, you called it, though. I mean, hey. It is what it is. I didn't expect it. Yeah, we'll look over the, the, rea- not the reactions, Christ, the predictions from last time at the end of the show and see where we're at, who's winning and whatnot, who won, rather. Uh, I Honestly, I was waiting for the whole, F-A-B, you out of your ass. <laughs> just like that. Exactly. Just like that. Exactly. Just like that. They plug the phone and everything. It's, it does sound dumb, though. I'm surprised, you be honest, I'm surprised she didn't come out because they are in New York. I forgot she had it. I completely... Wait, can she call cash it on the other person? No. Well, it, I think so, can she? Ooh. I don't know. Oh, Wait, oh, is there oh, another oh. women's match? Brooks? Whose phone is that? Brooks! We're not even... Brooks is running over to his phone. So unprofessional. <laughs> So unprofessional as we're standing around the mic this time. Not editing that out either. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you are. It's in there. Oh yeah, it's it's Sasha Banks versus. Um, oh my God, Bliss. Bliss, yes. 
But I don't think she could go. Can she cash it for no brain? Know. I don't know. I ain't never heard of it. I don't know. We'll see. It's not like Raw has the money in the bank. That's we'll see. The... We're in New York. You made a good point. I totally forgot about that. She... Why the hell did Kamala cash in? She is from New York, so she gonna she gonna do she gonna surprise somebody tonight. I'm already pissed off at two matches. Let's let's go watch the rest. Yeah, this sucked. Let's go. All right, so I got a question for you two. Is this the worst SummerSlam ever so far? I haven't seen a lot, but... I would have to say, yeah. Yes. Definitively, yes. I mean, Naomi and Natalya was a good match. Uh, NXT I, is killing WWE. Always will. Yeah, always will. Pretty much. Every time... Take- we just want, dude. This has got to be the end of the big cast and Enzo and Big Show feud. That's what you think. I hope so. Well, that's gonna, that's gonna a, continue till WrestleMania. It's a I'm gimmick match. It right I hope it ain't gonna last that long. I'm, I'm saying it's, it right now. I don't now. think it's gonna last that long. It's on record. Brian's saying it. Do you want it to last that long? No. Then it's going to. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a strong argument. You can't fight with that. Uh, so yeah, we just watched Big Show and Big Cast club each other like a couple of du- and I like Big Show and I like Big Cass you guys pretty much feel the same yeah, way yeah. I like Big Show I like, I like, I like Big, Big Show Cass being in the business for a while you know I like, yeah I respect the hell Cass, out of him you know I like Big Cass but I just wish they would push him to be a, a main you know superstar not just few like that they gotta give him something new yeah he's got good him. potential he's a good wrestler he really is god awful on the mic <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna kill him yeah, yeah. if only there was a New Jersey guy that had a similar attitude to him that was that, great at talking. And if no, only. Maybe he could throw the little the Brooklyn Baller. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that should be Enzo's game. <laughs> Brooklyn Baller. Could it, it fits. Yeah, we just, we watched freaking Enzo in the stupid cage. Thank you for selling your stupid toy, WWE. And he oiled himself up. I mean, I'm really saying that. There's a guy yeah, in wrestling. If you want to see a, a man oil like a grease. Now, I did just see the other day another man oil himself up. Okay. Joey Ryan. That's different, though. But that's different. Completely that's different. a discussion for a future podcast. I have that as a thing. Joey Ryan versus old school. Oh, okay. yeah. Old school hates Joey Ryan. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. they, don't like, they don't like the dick flip, huh? Nope. Or whatever he calls the, uh, that. Dick flex. Oh. But like I said, that's, that's, that's a discussion for a future podcast I really that, want to have. But have you seen this t-shirt? Probably. He's some great ones. The uh, the Nakamura knockoff t-shirt? Oh, King, King of Dong style? <laughs> King of Dong style. <laughs> that, that scares me, boys. I don't it's know, that's, great. That's, that's, do you know what we're talking about? Yes, I've okay. seen a video of him okay. forward. Oh, oh, yeah, that's that right. One's yeah. good. That, that scares me. <laughs> so I guess let's go watch the rest of the Oh, Big Cast 1 with the Empire Elbow, which is a cool yeah. move. It looked nice. It looked nice. I give him that. It just... At least, at least a young guy got over. Stop, yeah, stop having the big show go to the second rope and try to do a move, please. I'm just gonna say that when we were watching that, and like it looked like show, and just suddenly turned and landed on his hand. What the hell? What? Why would you even land like that? <sighs> I don't know, but that was bad. <laughs> That's like, I, I don't know how to describe it. But kudos to Vic Show for being able to turn like that. Okay, so he can move faster. <laughs> Let's, Let's go rest. see what, the, what else the show has to offer us. Rusev beat up Randy Orton. Randy Orton RKO'd Rusev and the match was over. Ding. Two seconds. Next <laughs> match. What the fuck? So what the fuck is the next match? <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're pissed because I, I kind of predicted it, alright? I said that What's the girl name? Which? No, the uh, Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss. Yeah, but uh, the girl that hangs out with Sasha, I forgot the girl name already. I mean, you know, now yeah, Jeff's gonna come out there and help turn on Alexa and help Sasha win. But that didn't happen. But I still said Sasha was gonna win. Yeah, Sasha won. So Jacob O'Brien mad. So I'm not gonna. Say- I'm not mad. I have mixed oh, no, feelings because Sasha Banks is my girl, but Alexa Bliss is incredible. I agree. I agree with that. Now, I feel like this feud, this division over there is how I would like wrestling to be, where it's like, God, I love this person. I love this person, too, and this feud's getting good, because that was a good match. Yeah, yeah. This, the rest of the card needs to catch the fuck up to Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. That was a good match. I'll give it to him. That was good. That was, 
That should be close to main event shit right there. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was and that was in the middle of the card, right? Yeah, because we still got a few matches to go. Oh yeah, that was a good mid card match because that that woke us up. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. goddamn, it's just the rest has been terrible. So I'm, I'm mad. Good. I mean, it was a good match, but I'm still mad as hell. Yeah, but <laughs> I wanted the booty to keep the belt, but you know, sometimes she's gotta slap the booty away. I only want like that little kid did. <laughs> yeah. The way Alexa looked, how upset she was, I want there to be a uh, a turn. I want Sasha to go heel because she's better heel, yeah. and Alexa yeah. to go face, even though she's probably a better heel. I think she's better heel, but I I, I like seeing her. I think, evol- I think something with Bailey is gonna get involved now. It has to eventually. It, it's gonna have to because they Bailey hugged Sasha before she went out there. You're right. Yeah. So now Bailey okay. gonna come up. Watch Bailey gonna come out there tomorrow. It's gonna be Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Lexa Bliss in the middle of the rain tomorrow. I guarantee it. Or how how long have we been seeing these three do this little dance? Uh, for a while. Since Charlotte, and everybody else went to SmackDown. Years. Yeah. I, feel like. <laughs> I mean, at least they have good <laughs> matches. Yeah. Uh, Who else is in the, the freaking Raw Women's Division? Exactly. I would like Ember Moon to come up. I they need a lot more, and I hope the with the May Young Classic. Yeah, I hope, I hope a lot more get brought up, and I I hope they'll get an infusion of some new women. Yeah, they need yeah. some new blood. I give you that. Yeah, I mean, I I would like Ember Moon to come up. I want them to do something with Peyton Royce and um, uh, the iconic duo in NXT because we never see them. Uh, Peyton Royce and the, the girl with the velvet dress. I know who you're talking about. I can't remember. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't think of her name. Peyton Royce and Billy. Billy Kay. Because they're great and they're good wrestlers. They just never use them. So at NXT, they showed uh, Kurt Angle and I think Rod Strong Bryan. was sitting next to him. I think he was. Yeah, I don't and, know who that was. And uh, Brian Angel, and then they had those two. And you know, I was saying, I was like, did they just tell them to act like fucking cats? Billy Kay and the, the yeah. fucking. They were being like weird, annoying girls. That's the, and exactly they do it what they all were. the time. It's like, do they just tell them to act like cats? Because the little hand thing they do all the time. Yeah. Fucking cat. Yeah, maybe yeah, the cats. I don't know. You know what? Though? Weird. Uh, I don't get it. I would like to see Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. If they ever do that, you remember they had that, uh, the split? What, what was the pay per view? Bragging rights. Yeah. Oh yeah. If they ever do that again, Raw versus SmackDown. There. I mean. Then the last match would be Kurt Angle versus Daniel Bryan. And I think that, be, I, yes, they're both injured, but I think they could both work each other and yeah. not... Not hurt each other. Yeah. Well, like, okay, a bit of, quick bit of news here. Did you hear what Brady told the radio station? Mm. Uh, that Daniel Bryan is training to oh, compete yeah. again once that, yeah. his contract is up. At a certain, it was like 2018. Yeah. Oh. And it happened to be when his contract is up. Right. So as long, she said, as long as all the doctors say yes, if WWE says no, he might go somewhere else. New Japan, Woo! New Japan, ROH, PWG. That would bring, yeah, that would bring hey, wherever TNA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, I don't think he would. I don't uh, think he would. Nah, no. He he would cost too much. Yeah, there's that. Too. I can definitely see him going up. Back to ROH. He will. That's a not. That's <clears throat> there's no doubt about that. I know. I watch that. ROH PWG is a definite thing. A New Japan thing is a probably later on kind of thing. But yeah, that I, I want would, it. I'll jump on that train again. I want it, man. That'll be nice. And CM Punk has said he will come out of wrestling for something special and unique. There you go. Brian yeah, Danielson. There you go. Can you imagine an ROH? Main event, CM Punk versus Brian Danielson. You know what I'm imagining? In 2018. I'm imagining uh, New Japan U.S. Championship. Kenny match. Omega versus Brian Danielson? Yeah. Oh, oh maybe my triple, goodness. Maybe triple threat with CM Punk. Oh, we might have to go to that. <laughs> oh, we might have to have a fantasy booking episode. <laughs> that would be... No, we, uh, I would definitely call for if that happened. Yeah, I'd be going to California. I'm in. Oh, I can boy. get us plane tickets too. Hell yeah! One of my football players, dad's a pilot. Every one of your football He's players got a has like a hookup. They're rich. <laughs> they got <laughs> yeah, hook up his kids for wrestling ring again. I could probably find someone over there in Orlando. <laughs> All, right. All right, well, let's go watch. Look, play Balor. I'm playing to Finn Balor. 
None of you can. Fucking point out that damn ghost. The next match is Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Oh, you looked real confused there. <laughs> yeah, because like I was, I'm, I want to show you something on that shelf that you're pointing at, but it's it's got nothing to do with wrestling. But all right, let's go see Finn yeah, Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Oh, so hot. Rollins is like, are you recording me? Right? Yeah. <laughs> He is, he is gorgeous. All right, and welcome to Future Heels with Jess. And she's going to talk about who's hot in WWE. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, apparently. So, uh, two two things. The Finn Balor-Bray Wyatt match was great. Oh, yeah. Finn Balor's entrance was awesome. That was epic. It was, was creepy. He was a little short, but <laughs> it was but, uh, creepy as shit. Yeah, I really it was. It really was. That was really I cool. I like the way he used Bray Wyatt's words. Can we mix up that. Bray Wyatt's entrance, though? Like, do something different? We could. <laughs> yeah. I really wish they would. Cause I, I like that, though. I like the way they didn't they, used Didn't that. they used to mix it up a little bit? Yeah, every show. Every yeah. time the demon comes out, he, it's a bit different. No, I mean, uh, Wyatt. Oh, no, I don't think no, so. No, it's always been the same. It's maybe I'm thinking changed. of just one time. Nah. Oh, yeah. Didn't they have like a, a choir on stage once and with a rocking chair or, or a band? No, it was a band. Yes. The guy had like the Plague Doctor mask. Wasn't something. that WrestleMania? I think so. Maybe yeah, WrestleMania they always do. Yeah, but it was still the same song though. They, they didn't change the words nothing to it. But that was a great no, match. WrestleMania, it was, they had no band at WrestleMania. Yeah, I think it was WrestleMania. I was. I was there. Not, I don't think it was this one. No. It was something. <laughs> so you were there. <laughs> well, I was outside. Technically. In one year, yeah, it was because it's Mark Cruiser and the Eels. Yeah. They were at one of them. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was a good match. Uh, Finn Balor won by Coup de, Coup de Gras. Yeah. Good. Coup de Gras. I love that move. It's so good. And he, he also won by scaring the shit out of Bray Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bray Wyatt. Upside down horror move thing, and Finn I'll, just I'll call stood it the up. Brooksville, yeah, I ate that golden career move. The what? The Brooksville, I ate that golden career move. That, that golden career <laughs> closed, you know that? That's why it, That's why it's called the Brooksville, I ate that golden career move. <laughs> Brooksville golden corral move is the name of this episode. <laughs> that, shit, hey, that shit hit your stomach so hard, it make you walk upside down. <laughs> You're going to have to put subtitles for that. And that's, what? And that's well, why it's closed. What are you closed. talking about? I can't understand it. Shut your ass up. You're so mean, Jeremy. Don't say my name. I'm, I'm, I'm Coach Brooks in this shit. You say your name at the beginning of the podcast. Shut up, Jeremy. Come, I'm a, Jeremy. We, we, I can't talk. I can't say that in the podcast anymore. No what? what? The F word? No, we got this black plate right here. I'm about to slap the white off your ass. Oh my gosh, we got that plate earlier, though. The let my, the let my people go plate. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> So yeah, that was a great match, and then we had like a thirty-minute promo about the next match. I felt, I kind of felt like a long promo because we skipped a, a lot of it. Because we're actually we're way behind. We are way behind. So let's get on to this next one, uh, Shazaro, because I don't care what they call them. They're Shazaro to us. Yep. Versus the Shield. Half of the Shield. Or yeah. So is it the Shield? She the She? Yeah. The no she. LD. Yeah. The <laughs> LD the still she. running around thinking he the big dog of the company. Yeah. Uh, and I, it was a great match, and they, the Shield, the She, whatever the hell they are, they won. The, the long promo led to a good match. Wouldn't this and have the been? Seth Central's was pretty sweet. That oh, was, yeah. That was freaking nice. Has it been like that, though? No, that's the first I heard it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. And if you, if you didn't show. watch it, Cesaro, who is one of my favorites, did an epic move, went out to the crowd, stole the beach ball. Yes. yes. Ripped it up, went back in. Good Fucking for you, ass. Cesaro. Fucking Thank you. Ass. Give that man a title shot just because of that. You show son of a bitch. Show some goddamn respect. Make baby. it happen. Make it happen, long nose Triple H. What are we, uh... Why are you talking crap? They're listening. What are we, a Tommy now? Triple H, I mean, uh, shit. What Mr. <laughs> Helmsley. Excuse me. Precisely, <laughs> Mr. Hunter or Helmsley, sir. <laughs> what are we, uh, Hideo with Tommy, though? Sure. Yeah. What about Hideo? Respect. His yeah. Respect me. Yeah. These Wait, people need respect. Hideo Dami is the Rodney Dangerfield of wrestling now, I guess. No respect at all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, but I feel like Shizaro winning this would have put them over even more. Yeah, they, they should have won. won. You know what? I saw it on Facebook. So. They should have won, but I've been saying this for a while. It's time for them two to split up. 
Shaq. Really? Uh, and Shazar needs his title shot. Yes, because that he happens. He ain't getting younger. No. He ain't getting Cesaro younger. Cesaro does need a heavy, heavyweight title right now. Yeah. It needs to happen. Oh, Cesaro beat Lesnar. That would be epic as fuck. Yes. I can see that happen. We were yeah. talking about that last week. But right? We were coming up with people that would beat Lesnar. Cesaro, Did we say hey. Cesaro? Cause no. No, we should have. He's strong Cesaro, hey, look at, I just might say, he is stronger than an ox. Yeah. He can deadlift. Like, he deadlift. I went to a live show in Tampa at Raw, and he deadlifted a great colleague out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Just like, just put him up a neutralizer. Just yeah. picked him up easily. Yeah, and I'm like, jealous. I can't even pick my girl up. Right there, you know? <laughs> One thing I'm excited about is we're probably going to get to see the Shield versus the Hardy Men. <laughs> They're not the Hardy Boys anymore. Go to CageSideSeats.com. It says the Hardy Men. Hardy Men. <laughs> I even tweeted at them. I was like, I'm, I'm glad to see you guys grow up. What's up with uh, Luke Gallows now? Oh, I don't know. They need to win the belt and keep them forever. But they're just not. I don't know. I, I feel like they brought the club over just to be... More than enhancement talents. Just to tease us, really. I, I'm hoping that there's both those guys are going to be around a long time. Oh, yeah. So, we got plenty of time. What's up? I turn my laptop on, I hear it. She's oh. supposed to be sleeping. Oh, oh. okay. Well, go get her. We'll watch this next match. She gone. So, we just watched uh, Sh- Shane McMahon. Yeah. So, well, Shane McMahon, special guest referee, uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. And that was... Uh, I think the end of this feud was a really good match because they even said that after that last Styles Clash, to leave no doubt, he hit him with a Styles Clash. One, two, three, AJ Styles still a U.S. champion. Yeah. I don't think it's the end of that, though. No? Nah. Seems like it is. It seems like a definitive end. I think they're going to push it a little bit more. We went to WrestleMania? <laughs> nah. What's the next big one, Okay, so I'm not even going to pretend like we weren't interrupted. We were interrupted. Yeah, a little bit. A tiny, adorable interruption that I wish I would have recorded. It was awesome. That was fun. So, that match was really good. Uh, AJ Styles, I think this is the end of the feud. I hope this is the end of the feud, because I would like oh, to see yeah. him feud with someone else. Uh, Bobby Roode. Yeah, He'd be yeah, cool to come up. It just depends where he goes, though. Yeah. Mike Bennett. I think he could use a good feud. They need to do something with him. Yeah, yeah. I know Maria is kind of the star, but he could be. He could easily be a big star. Uh, there are some interesting spots in that match, like when Shane got kind of knocked out. Like, what was he doing? Oh, when um, when Styles hit him. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Weird. <laughs> Looks like he jumped in the way real quick. Yeah. I think Owens probably pushed him in the way, like he always. Yeah, no, Owens was down. down. Was Owens down? Yeah. It looked like, it actually looked like Shane was like, I'll save you, Kevin, yeah. and jumped in front of him. But. That was a little bizarre. Uh, we had uh, dub work done by Brooks and Jess. That was funny. <laughs> it, no, sorry. Kevin and Shane got in their face. Each other's faces were screaming at each other at the same time Brooks and Jess were screaming at each other. That was epic. <laughs> Y'all might as well give us our Grammys now. Oh, my God. That was incredible. I'll take mine. You can mail Jess's. <laughs> I... I really like that match. We, it's finally a good match. Now we're going to get Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jinder Mahal, which is either going to be a shit pile or a great match. I think it's going to be a whole bunch of bullshit. This is, really? is going to be so. Jinder's moment to shine. Jinder can't handle that shit, man. Th- that's what I'm saying, though. Maybe he can, and we're he... about to see that. I, so You know what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Shinsuke going to knock the fuck out of dude like he did. <laughs> he going to knock him unconscious. Jinder too stiff to wrestle somebody like that. Yeah, it could be. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping Shinsuke knocks him out. I think that'd be funny I as hell. I would too, the Bahaji idiot. Oh, God, I'll bite my tongue. <laughs> the Mahavraja. Ma- <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we just watched the WWE Championship. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Jinder Mahal it was a solid match. Uh, the stupid-ass Singh brothers got involved. They got murdered, and... Gender hit the Coloss, kind of. Sorry. <laughs> it was I don't know what the hell that was, to be honest with you. I mean, it's a, it's a, what do you call that from behind? Uh, full Nelson? Full Nelson, thank you. It's a full Nelson slam, basically. But he didn't really get the arms hooked. No, that's not even close to what he did, though. This might be his last 
championship defense. <laughs> he had he had the one arm around his neck like a chokehold, and he was like petting his chest, trying to grab his other arm. But I was like, "What is?" I didn't realize that's what he was doing. Like I was like, "Why is he rubbing Nakamura's yeah. chest right now?" <laughs> you know, it's kind of a proponent of Jinder Mahal just because it's kind of different. He's pretty good, but this is. I said it before this match. This is going to be his time to shine, and he did not. No. It's time to give someone else the belt. I mean, the match was okay, but... Yeah. It was, it was, a, it was a decent match, you know, but it just... Match. No, right. it, no. That's something you see on, like, SmackDown or something like that. This should... Well, no. I was like, this should be, like, an Intercontinental Championship feud, but Shinsuke Nakamura is obviously, I feel like, a WWE champion caliber superstar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, not to say the Intercontinental's lesser or anything, but it kind of is. Yeah. It, but uh, yeah, it's time for someone else to take the belt. We need we need Kevin Owens, or we need Shinsuke Nakamura or Bobby Roode. No. <laughs> and oh, in, yeah. India's had their champion long enough. Yeah, it's time for Japan. Yeah, this is time for Japan. We'll give it to another freaking country or something. Good night, man. You know, actually, you know what Canadian had a, you know, yeah, that's a right. For a while. Yeah. You know who needs to be the next champion? Akira Tozawa. I close. Ah. I was gonna say Neville. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Cruiserweight oh and WWE champion. You know, like, you the the tightest brand. Yeah. I like I like him. I, I I you know what? I can't disrespect. The only reason why I don't like Titus on there because he's a Florida Gator. Yeah, you're a Seminole. He's a piece of crap. But other than that, he does good. I was watching this, by the way, speaking of Akira Tozawa, I was watching a match uh, on Facebook, and it was weird I can say that, but I was watching the match, it was um, Austin Aries, and he had uh, his manager lady, I forgot who she was at the time. Uh, I wanna, In WWE? No, you know, before, uh, uh-huh. which is weird, because who he was fighting, Um he had her come up and give him a kiss on the cheek before the match started. His match was against uh, Akira Tozawa, and for some reason, John Moxley, or I'm assuming it was John Moxley at the time, yeah. Dean Ambrose, and um, Akira Tozawa was trying to get Ambrose to do the same thing. <laughs> Funny. That sounds kind of great. You have to share, share that with me. Oh, I should have. I, I don't even know where I saw it. So now I, I think it's the Fatal 4-Way. I hope it's the Fatal 4-Way. Uh, I don't it's, know. It's getting late as fuck. It's Agreed. Late. It's bedtime. Well, let's continue. It's bedtime. Well, let's... All right, folks. We just watched the Fatal 4-Way, the main event, SummerSlam, and hell yeah, it was a main event. It was. Holy crap, they tore it that was. place down. They did a very good job on it. Braun Strowman just committed uh, attempted homicide. Yeah, he got away with it because they ain't broke <laughs> Yeah, he yeah, yeah, got away with it. <laughs> no, but, but you know what though? And then the match stopped for like minutes. Yeah, which was not cool. Like, what the fuck? Guys? Yeah, Braun Strowman kind of flipped a table, well, the announce table, onto Brock Lesnar, which I don't think I've ever seen. I never seen somebody lift a table like that and no. throw somebody. And that's first. I've also never seen someone throw stairs like that. Right. I ain't, seen, <laughs> right. yeah. I ain't never seen office chairs. I ain't never seen in one match of me watching wrestling my whole life. Yeah. yeah. For one. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm not finished with you. <laughs> and those tables, I'm not finished with you. Chair in the face. <laughs> I will beat the ring up. Here's the stairs. I think office chair out of nowhere is my new favorite thing. Office chair. Out of nowhere. We should start throwing chairs at people. Go to office max and start throwing their chairs around. <laughs> Do you blame Strumman for your chair? Oh, oh yeah, right? Yes. <laughs> so, Brock Lesnar retained, which I'm, I don't hate. Because I'm loving this dominance. I'm loving... I don't hate it too, but I thought he was leaving. I love Brock Lesnar pinning Roman Reigns. That's what I love. Because Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe are still a threat. Does not need to be in the title picture anymore. You know that's, he still is, so unless they get the the show back together, he's still going to be in there. Well, that's the whole thing. Me too, because I would like to see them three back together. Ideally, I would like the Shield to get back together, and I don't think it's going to happen now because they're NXT tag champs, but Sanity could call it up. 
That's what I would like to see. And then Sanity in the Shield feud. You never know. They can and lose it on Wednesday. Sanity can drop the belts to Red Dragon. No problem. Look at A. Yes. They can lose it on Wednesday and be on the show Monday. I mean, quite frankly, that would show Red Dragon's dominance. Yeah. If they just straight up destroyed the new tag team champions. Won it right away. So I, I love that idea. And then Sanity get caught up the main roster and feud with the Shield. Sanity is so good. Yes, Sanity. He's the best thing running in NXT right now, and I hesitantly say that because of Adam Cole and Red Dragon. The the gimmick, the music, the even pre- I, the presence. I uh, didn't care about Killian Dane. I was dumb. He was in the WrestleMania, the Andre the Giant thing. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I've always liked Wolf because we've seen him for so long. Yeah. And he's one of those guys that. Because of our unique ability of being able to see, he's one of those NXT guys we've seen grow. Right. Because we've been to so many small NXT shows. He's really good. Well, I mean, his personality is good and sanity. Right, yeah. Because I just, I love watching each of those guys. Like, Wolf does this thing where he just drags his hands down his face. Yeah. And then he does the thing we've always seen him do, was just punch and kick everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh, like, moshing. Like, yeah, because it's like, moshes. he looks stupid. Yeah. Now, Head he hurts. looks crazy as hell. <laughs> yeah, he's batshit crazy. Yeah, Killian Dane looks like he's going to eat you. Yeah. Nikki Cross looks like she's going to slit your throat. My God, I, I could, and Nikki Cross is infinitely entertaining. She's terrifying. Oh, yeah. And Eric Young is just a brilliant psychopath. No. What's up? None. <laughs> Huge jump from Team Canada. Yeah, right. Who jumped from TNA? Canada stepping up, boys. Yeah, he was like he was like the biggest joke in TNA. He was. Which was fine. I mean, it was funny. Yeah, well, he was great in TNA. Yeah, but now is Eric Young leader of Sanity? Perfect. It's so. I gotta good. say, we had a lull. For a while with NXT. Yeah. And now, God, with Red Dragon and Aleister Black and Adam Cole and Bobby Roode and Eric Young and Sanity and even AOP, I'll put them in there, and Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa uh, and Asuka and Ember Moon and Nikki Cross and Ruby Wright and we've got a whole nother roster. We My, really do. Yeah, exactly. As another strong... Which is the point. Right. And now... You can even argue they have a stronger roster than Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, I don't care to watch Raw and SmackDown at all. There's really no reason I, I to don't. watch it. Yeah. But now I think I'm going to go back to NXT every week. Yes. Really the only reason I will watch Raw is Braun Strowman. Yeah, I do watch... I mean, I go through and I watch the clips. Yeah. And I'll, I'll I love him. watching Braun Strowman stuff. I love watching Samoa Joe. I love watching AJ and Kevin. Um, they're, it's just, God, they're, th- what, is SmackDown three hours or two hours? Two. That's still a long ass time. That's regular time. That's a time. movie, that's longer than a movie. That's regular yeah. time though from wrestling, like the three hours is too long, that's wrong. Right, two hours is, is a long show, but free three, oh. Like, the two hours from back in the day was just pure wrestling. It was like two minute promos, a little bit of screenshot. It was a, back, was it was a, a behind the scenes promo yeah. with somebody interviewing somebody. Right, somebody walking in. You know, nowadays it's like they're setting up a movie. All right, next pay per view. Yeah. Remind me, I want to do this. I'm okay. going to time how much. Promos? No, not promos, the matches. Okay. Because that's what I did when I, when, I first, when I first had the idea to get back into wrestling a, long, a while ago. I timed. The amount of wrestling on a Raw. Right. It was 15 minutes right. of a three-hour show. Well, it's way better now, though. It's better now. Yeah. But it was 15 minutes of a three-hour show, and I said, fuck this. Uh, Solo Monster, and Solo Monster Sounds Off, he used to do a thing. It must be dead now. Uh, it was like the Divas clock. They would just time the Divas match every week. Oh. Because <laughs> it was always like 30 seconds. Yeah. You know, before all uh, the the women's revolution happened, it was right. awful. But yeah, that was like a weekly segment of his. That's funny. <laughs> and yeah. he didn't do it. 
you know, celebrating it, he did it as like, you're fucking up, WWE, you need to change this. Right, yeah, it was, there were three matches that day. Three hour show. Jeez. Five minutes, about, about five minutes apiece, give or take. The main event was like seven, uh, it was a little less. Yeah, I remember a whole article, probably on SE Scoops, because that's where I've always got my news, about, you know, when the authority was a big thing. And it was like, they wrote an article about, we had literally had a 45-minute promo to open Raw. Right. Why mm-hmm. is, why, who thinks that's a good idea? That's a terrible idea. Yeah. The worst idea. And, and SmackDown, you know, is supposed to be the show that's about wrestling. And sometimes it feels that way, sometimes it doesn't. They're, they're taking the MTV route. Or they did. They're getting a little better now. What do you mean by that? MTV used to be music. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, there you go, yeah. And then, you know, they, they only played music in the morning and at night. And now, I don't, I really don't think they play music at all. Right. I don't know. I haven't had cable in forever. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had cable in seven years. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had cable since I moved out of my parents' house, and that was... Quite a while now. They barely do shit on MTV now. Sometimes they, they it's more reality shows now. Yeah. And all that, so. Yeah. Oh, I take that back. I had cable for like a week and a half. And I moved out. <laughs> I just realized, I just found the uh, the document with our SummerSlam predictions. I poorly named it. SS. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. So, uh... For Cena versus Corbin, I had Corbin, you had Cena. So just keep track. You have one. All right, let me pull up a note thing. I'm starting to lose it. You ready? You ready yet? You ready yet? (laughs) Facebook changes stuff around. Why are you going on Facebook? Go on your notes. I need a messenger opened. Okay. Don't you dare message me every time I tell you fucking match. Alright, so I got one right. Uh, let's see. You said Balor, I said Wyatt, so you were right. Uh, who won out of Enzo and Cass? Cass. We were both wrong. Who, uh, we were both wrong on New Day and Uso. We were both wrong on Styles and Owens. We were both right on Neville and Tozawa. We were both wrong on Bliss and Sasha. What's up? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Naomi and Natalia. Yeah, I was wrong a lot. Uh, I, I was, was right. right on Jinder and Nakamura. And neither one of us was right for Lesnar and... Or the four-way. Yeah. So who won? I got three. I got... I mean, I get... He's like, you track. I'm lying. I'm in a boat. Oh, I hate you. I thought you keep track of mine. You are the worst. Hold I saw on. you moving things around over there. I thought you were keeping track of mine. Right, that, deserve, that deserves a big deal. <laughs> All right, I got three, so let's try yours. <laughs> oh, no. One. Uh, one, two. Shut up. That's not it. One. Neither one of us did very good. <laughs> no, we never do. I actually did pretty good. But I wasn't on paper, though, one. so it don't matter. Nope. Asshole. Two. <laughs> Two. Two. <Yeah. laughs> I that's win. Pretty, that's pretty bad, man. I win. Well, it's like, I think when I predict things, I predict what I want to see. Well, this is what we need to start doing. We need to start doing predictions we want to see and then predictions... We think slash no, no we're gonna happen. I'm gonna start predicting <laughs> like that. I'm I'm gonna start predicting what's gonna happen. Yeah, what, need, good what at needs it. to happen. You're pretty damn good at it. Because before when we when I started doing this with y'all, I just I just predicted what I want to see. Yeah, and I suck. So, and one last thing to go over here, we do have the uh, May Young Classic bracketology in front of us. Bracket, not the bracketology. The show is on, but we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, is there anything on here in particular that stands out to you guys? Sarah Logan. She yeah, has versus Mia Yim. So I don't know who's going to win that one. I hope Sarah Logan wins. 
I kind of do too because like she's a super interesting character, but I also love Mia Yim. You know what sticks out to me? What's that? That trophy in the middle. That trophy is pretty. That's yeah. pretty badass. Just as pretty as the competitors. Well, we'll see about that. I mean, the main thing that sticks out to me is Kyrie Sane versus Tessa Blanchard. And also that it says Kyrie Sane, not Kyrie Hojo. Oh, no. They're, did they change her name to Kyrie Sane? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Ain't that Mercedes Martinez girl I was talking about that's looking mighty cool and fine? Probably. Hmm. I'm not sure. I gotta do my research on these girls. Uh, but I'm, be, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this May Young right Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. But Tessa Blanchard is a favorite to win, but so is Kyrie Sane. So that's kind of surprising and also a very interesting match. Uh, there's another one Kaylee Ray versus Princess Sukhite. Princess Sukhite is also a favorite to win, but I Kaylee Ray is amazing. We know her from WCPW. She's the redheaded. Scottish chick or Irish? Oh, yeah, I should have met her before. She's oh, yeah, yeah. real good. Uh, let's see, Nicole Savoy versus Renee Gonzalez. Reina Gonzalez. Uh, they got all the good people on one side, basically. Renee Michelle versus Candice LeRae. We know Candice is going to win that, which means it's probably going to be Candice LeRae versus Sarah Logan. Maybe. Out of that. Or Mia Yim. Um, I want to see Candice LeRae versus Sarah Logan, though. I am. I'm gonna feel so dumb. But who's Lacey Evans? Lacey Evans. Um, that sounds familiar. Google it. Yeah, okay. We'll look her so up. we I'm also. Gonna, I'm gonna look up that Mercedes lady too. We also have uh, Piper Niven, which is Viper from WCPW. Yeah. Versus Santana Garrett, who is from Ocala. She's straight out of the uh, the funkin funky Funkin conservatory. conservatory. <laughs> funky conservatory. Dory nope. Funk School. Nope. Funky. Time. What is it? Okay, how did he get away with that? <laughs> he's funk, man. He's There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. He's still funkin'. I'm that, funkin' to probably... the east, and I'm funkin' to the west. Sorry. All right. <laughs> What's funny about that name is that is on a, like, I'm sure a uh, official federal tax document. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you don't like it, he'll put you through a table. Uh, oh, I know who Lazy Evans is. I fucking hate her. Oh, it's... Princess Kimberly. No. No? It's not. Who is it? It's the... It's this one. This one. Her. Oh, oh we've okay. seen her. Which she's one the, is... She's the military police lady who... With like a... I don't even know what the fuck her gimmick is. She's got like that big know. sun hat and... That's her gimmick. Look up uh, Princess Kimberly. Actually, Mercedes Martinez wrestled Victoria in WWE Heat. Oh, what? In 06. Mercedes Martinez? Yeah. Let me see her. She, she wrestled in WWE for. Is she CM Punk's girl? I think so. That's her right there. Yeah. I think she might be from the Straight Edge Society. No, I don't think that's her. No, I have no clue. That, that is not Abby her. Lath. Right up there. Abby Lath at the very top. That's Princess Kimberly. Okay, this is not the girl I thought that looked good. This girl looked like she's straight out of freaking Red Hook. She might be related to Taz. Straight out of Straight Edge Society. No, that ain't her, bro. Oh, yeah. I really like her. Her face is too long. She's like a lip. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure which one is the one from the Straight Edge Society, then. I don't think that won't wrestle anymore, to be honest with you. No, she's in this tournament. We just don't know her name. Uh, I'll Google it. Talk. Talk, you two. Oh, you're Googling it? Yeah. Okay. But while we're Googling her name, what's the next pay-per-view coming up? Oh, I don't think they know. I don't know. They're probably going to make some dumb shit out of like horse shit. Yeah, I think it's the uh, Amish horse shit. You know, oh. they, need, they, they need to have the evasion. Invasion, yeah. Go, well, they can have that too if they want. <laughs> They'll just have, you know, the outsiders. Well, that's hopefully what Red Dragon and Adam Cole are. But uh, Serena Deeb is, she was in the Straight Edge Society. That's her? Yeah. Who she wrestling? She is pretty, too. Of course she's beautiful. Uh, She is wrestling Vanessa Bourne. And then she'll end up wrestling either Santana Garrett or Viper. Uh, Th- this tournament's super exciting. It's coming up very soon, I think. Like, next week? A week from tomorrow is what they said. Okay. 
So it'll be next Monday. So it'll be on not the next podcast, but the podcast after. Yeah, and it's been filmed already, hasn't it? Yes, for a while. Okay. Actually, you know what? It's in, in Orlando, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's already been filmed. So that's already done, basically. Wait, no. Did they film the finals? Because they didn't film the Cruiserweight finals. No, they I did that they may not have filmed the finals. But. Huh. Okay. Let me do some research. See if I can go over there. Oh, uh, you mean get us over there? If y'all come <laughs> over. Yeah, I'm sure. Because they, they obviously do it on Wednesdays, right? Or they do it on a different day. I, oh, it might be on a Wednesday. Yeah, they film Wednesdays or Thursdays or some shit like that. Some of it makes it shit. incredibly difficult for us. Yeah. If I can get I over there it. and just get some pictures or something, or, you know, the wrestlers coming out or something, I just got to figure out what days to get over there. Or get us tickets, Brooks. <laughs> you live in Orlando, you know people. I know. I just, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'll get my game back. I apologize. Don't all you Orlando people, you're all just family, right? Because yeah. it's a small town. It ain't a small town, but, you know, <laughs> we're family. It's football season, so everybody's going to start getting along again anyway. I had the opportunity to buy tickets. Three or four times here For what? recently. NXT tapings. What happened? Yeah, what happened? What were we told? It's like a Thursday afternoon. I work. Yeah. You can still give them to me. <laughs> That's <a> point. <laughs> me and Brooks yeah. could go. Yeah, guys. I'll call in sick to work. Hey, good night, man. Shoot. I I'll call in. Got to work to work. I think it's Wednesdays because if it was Thursday. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Like if they. I, NXT is definitely Wednesdays. It's a really stupid day. Yeah, if it was Thursday, I could I would go Thursday night, take Friday off, and have a long weekend. But yeah, it's Wednesday, so that does can't I can't really do that. One of these days we will. When we all got some some uh, time off built up. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, to. I could. I have I have the ability to. Sure. But it's just. Uh, you don't want I don't to. Know. <laughs> we'll have to go pretty soon because. NXT is getting red hot right now. Yeah. And pretty soon, I, I believe pretty soon they're going to move out of that little Full Sail arena and start just getting big everywhere. It's very possible Full Sail will build a bigger arena, though. No, nah, they won't do that. They ain't enough room over there. Really? Have you been over there? Yeah. There's a lot of empty space over there. Yeah, no, bro, they build That's why that school keeps building bro, out. Bro, they built that place up so big, there ain't no room over there no more. Huh. <laughs> Like they, they have to tear down a plaza to make an arena this size. They probably would. <laughs> but, folks, that has been Future Heels episode 26 or 27. I think it's 26. I don't know anymore. It's too late. Episode 933. Sorry Dude, you missed the rest Joe Rogan of just celebrated his thousandth episode. That's pretty cool. So, we'll be there one day. Who the hell is that? Joe Rogan? Yeah. UFC commentator. Oh, that's the dude that was on Dave Chappelle. I don't know. He hosted Fear Factor. Yeah, he did the, Dave Chappelle did a Fear Factor skit, and Joe Rogan was on that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, okay. His podcast is fantastic. Yeah. It's three hours long, though. That's too much. Yeah, it's definitely one you sit and listen and do some work or something, too. Or just take a nap, and he's still talking when you wake up. Pretty much. Shit. Speaking of that. Yeah, same here. I got to go. I got a two-hour drive. Get out of my house. Ooh. That's how we that's should. That's first. That's how we should end podcast. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Damn. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard Brian say that. God damn, son. Uh, so that was SummerSlam. This he, Brooks is in shock. He just uh, Brooks might cry. Bro- Brooks <laughs> Brooks has learned a lot about me today. He really I'll has. Learn. I can't cry because I'm too tired. <laughs> you ever been too tired to cry? No. In shit. my dreams. All right, so. I've been best of the realm. Jeremy the Coach Brooks. Brian Brian Peacock. You can find this podcast on the website futurevillains.com. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. I can still do that when I'm tired. Good job, Carmela. Uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you can find it on iTunes. You can find it on SoundCloud. As long as SoundCloud's not out of business by the time this thing comes out. You can find it on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm. You can find me on Twitter at JeremyBrooks42. I'm on Twitter at BrianMan25 and on Instagram, BrianMan1138. So follow us on all the things. Oh. And watch NXT. Because that shit's going to be good. Let's stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Keep your eye out for the next episode of k Kaiju. Oh, Christ. How did I not? You're right. 
we have a new podcast. You're probably familiar with it because we did episode 24. It was a special nerdy podcast. That's now spun off. We have a spin off now. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing that good. Kayfabe Kaiju. It's the same place. iTunes, futurevillains.com. That's F E W. I already spelled it. Fuck you. <laughs> We're going to be doing that bi monthly? Probably. Most likely? Give or take. Yeah, at least at first. That way we have plenty to talk about. Yeah. Though we'll and, probably. And if you enjoy it, then you'll definitely want to follow my Instagram because it's yes. full of all kinds of stuff like that. And I need to start using Instagram more. So check out Kayfabe Kaiju, follow it on iTunes. That one's not going on SoundCloud because SoundCloud is in its, it's dying. Is it really? It really is. Oh, that's right, it is. <laughs> it's I was, really sad. I was thinking of Spotify. Also, it's a pain in the ass to use, which is probably why it's dying. Yeah. Mm. I don't, actually, this episode might not go on SoundCloud because I don't care anymore. So, follow me on YouTube and Twitch. Are we done? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Let's stop. I'm getting a drink. I've gave you the opportunity to say get out of my house. Oh, get out of my house.